So what's going on, Baffle Gang? I think you're gonna be really, really baffled tonight. Yay! Put that cookie down and hide your wife. If you do not have a wife, go get you a wife and then hide her. Now, there are many beautiful places to visit while on vacation, but there's one that's been getting a lot of attention lately and in a very strange way. Mm. For the past couple of years, the Appalachian mountain range has been trending on social media for its many mysteries, such as tales of skinwalkers. Made it to the Appalachian Mountains, uh -oh. so far no skin. The Mothman, the Rake, the Dogman, Bigfoot, and the list goes on. Do people call Skinwalker Ranch, uh, or do they put them in the same categories as aliens, or are they different? Do we think them as an alien creature, or But after or not? researching a bit, I found out that there's much more to it, and it's Holy actually crap. freaky. From hikers that have mysteriously vanished, never to be seen again. I have one floating above the mountain. This is crazy. They're in the. They're rising in the Unexplained air. sightings of luminous objects and paranormal activity. This place is filled with strange tales of the unknown. Yeah. Dude. Dude, they're chasing that lily. They're chasing that. Okay, but I was gonna say the skinwalkers are something that uh, apparently human like, but with longer arms, uh, longer legs, and they crawl. They are able to mimic human sound. So, what do people class them as? Aliens, extraterrestrial beings, not of this planet, or simply it's a creature that is, uh, you know, hidden? Or oh, yeah, they're yeah, chasing right. that you... lily. They're chasing that. What the hell? Yo, and no! And because of that, it's been trending quite a lot on social media. And today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the creepiest and most unexplained videos caught in the Appalachian Mountains. Oh, what the hell? I'm being followed by something. But before we go on, let me explain why this mountain range is shrouded in mystery. Uh oh. I like that, I like that. So Appalachia, The Appalachian right? Mountains are one of the oldest mountain ranges in the world, with its core being formed about 1.2 billion years ago, when all of the continents were still one. They stretch from Newfoundland, Canada, to central Alabama in the US, Holy. showcasing breathtaking beauty and incredible biodiversity. But because this place is really old, older than the dinosaurs, older than Saturn's rings and the ozone layer, Many people believe that the region is somewhat Being haunted. Being raised in the Appalachian Mountains, I've experienced a lot of unexplainable things. And I'm not the only one. Since first damn, damn, she beautiful though. Since inhabiting the land, the Cherokee natives talk about strange beings that roam these mountains, like the Moon-Eyed People, a race of small, pale-skinned beings who lived in the area before the Cherokees. The Cherokees tell us that when they first arrived in the Appalachian area, they found it inhabited by a certain Moon-Eyed type people. Couldn't see it. And Sparefinger, a shape shifting humanoid that preys on unsuspecting victims. When we, when we work night security 8 pm to 8 am and we see something coming at us at midnight, yay! You might not want to go outside tonight, guys. Yes, really? sir. This, for instance, is a video that was recorded in the Great Smoky Mountains in 2021. At the time, Renanus 007, the person who was recording the video, was working the night shift as a security guard in the Great Smoky Mountains. When all of a sudden this happens. So he came and retracted after? Really? Yeah, and retracting, okay. <laughs> it looks like a featureless humanoid figure can be seen walking towards the car. Needless to back, say, huh? Renana 007 and her buddy got the heck out of there as fast as possible. <laughs> Now, I'm not exactly sure what it is they saw that night. What I do know, however, Baffling is that up. encounters like this one are quite common in the Appalachian Mountains. Mm. While researching the topic, I came across one of the most mysterious videos that was originally posted by Hellbent Holler YouTube channel, a channel uh -oh. that focuses on investigating strange phenomena and cryptids. Let's go in. Oh, they're really what going in. We've got eyes in the woods. In the winter of 2023, Jessie and her team traveled to North Carolina to investigate the centuries-old phenomenon known as the Brown Mountain Lights. Oh, it looks like a snake, kind of, right? So a lot of UFO activity as well. A lot Those of are city lights. And that is something oh, wow. else. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is great. This is perfect for this. <gasps> yeah. 
I want to go down to the platform. I'm getting that pro now, man. <laughs> oh my god, we've got one. We've got a brown mountain light. It was late at night when Jessie and her team finally captured what looked like some sort of luminous object in the woods. They were live streaming the event to their YouTube channel, so they were very excited when finally something showed up. But they had absolutely no idea what was about to happen. Oh, look at that. I like that. I like that. I like that. How Hopefully, cool nothing is bad that? happened. But oh, young got... lady, young lady, when you go there, it's not gonna be that cool, though. One. Yep. Holy moly! I'm gonna I'm live stream you here. Give me the headlamp and your phone. I'm gonna live stream you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, whoa, whoa, business. Whoa, this is business. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, got binoculars? Okay. What'd you this see? All right, we're, we're live. Go ahead and say what we're doing. Okay, so guys, I just wanted to tell you guys we are live from. Uh, we are live uh, looking at the Brown Mountain Lights. We took a little trip today and we are up here at an overlook. We are looking over the Brown Mountain Ridge and Brown Mountain, and I'm using the Psy Onyx. And right now, I am actually catching the Brown Mountain Lights on the Psy Onyx. Okay. Recording. <clears throat> I got one. It's very. This thing is perfect for this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I got one right here. Wow. It is so cold. We are freezing out here. So right now we're just scanning the mountains and the ridges over here. We're just gonna shoot a beam down into the gorge. Okay. See if we can get a... Oh, bad wow, idea. Wow, that flashlight's insane. <laughs> now completely baffled, but at the same time curious <laughs> to find out if baffled. this is indeed some sort of strange phenomenon or people camping down there. Baffled is his favorite word. Uh, yeah, nobody can... Even if you pay me a million dollars, you cannot convince me otherwise. This is his favorite word, and it's okay. Yeah, I want to say it's okay. It's completely fine. They point a very strong flashlight towards it, and this is what happens. Yeah, so some see if you movement get, like, a response. Feet. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, another Whoa. one. Another one. Oh my god. Whatever they did with the flashlight, it seems to have worked. So they decide to flash it once more. And this is what they caught on camera. Uh, yeah. What video games have taught me is that if you flash lights at something and if it flashbacks, that means you are on the right track. You know, that's what video games have taught me. But I can't get to it right now. What do you need? I've got one on me. Um, I don't know. I was going to try to signal and see if something would happen. See if right there's like here, a right? Give it a shot. Holy crap. Okay. Light here. Yeah, you um, see. Perhaps they do not have laser pointers. Oh my god. You got a good one? I got one in the air floating. What? I have one floating above the mountain. Do you see it with your eyes? Do you see it with your eyes? It's it's red. It's one of these like balls of light. Here on over is not. Holy. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, two of them. There are a bunch of they're them, just, yeah. They're rising. They're in the they're rising in the air. They're just rising in the air over the mountain. There's two over here. Whatever these things are, they now seem to be rising towards the air and Jessie and her team are completely baffled and pretty <laughs> sure that these are not people camping or airplanes. This yeah, is yeah, yeah. something else entirely. Check this out. It looks like there's another one. You got another light in the sky? I've got one rising. Can you see that? Can you guys see that? Two Do you hair, see that ball hair. of light just rising above the mountain? It's moving left to left to left. I see there's three of them. Uh, Stash, stationary. Look at them. So, something hair blinking uh, as well. Perhaps bad video quality is making that happen. They're just hovering. This is the craziest thing. I didn't expect anything like this at all. It, they're just rising the up. Hell? That is so bizarre. The yeah. fourth one's rising up from the forest right now. You've got the two bright ones, one on top of the other. The it, it is as though like the entire UFOs or the aliens were having like a party down there. They, they threw a party and they were like, okay, like humans are not here, so let's throw a party tonight. They're like lined up. I hold it at kind of an angle. You can really see these things just rising in the sky. This is not what I expected. I expected ghost lights in the woods, which we saw already. This is almost like UFO like type. This is crazy. Now the, the top one's starting to get brighter again. The third one's disappeared. Although I think I've got a plane in the distance. I've got one moving to the left, one slowly moving to the right. After this posting right, the yeah. video to YouTube, it left the entire internet completely baffled. baffled. <laughs> Whatever these things are, it's very clear that the brown mountain lights are not just some ghostly lights in the woods. This is possibly something else. 
Some people believe that the Brown Mountain Lights are actually related to extraterrestrial activity, while others state that there are underground bases hidden within the region. Okay. To this day, no one knows what is causing this unexplained phenomenon. What is known is that it was first officially re- I mean, like, if there's one place where UFOs uh, might be chilling, I guess it would be the mountains, right? Like, yeah, especially where nobody's at. So kind of makes sense in a way when you think about it, if they want to stay hidden, but they still want, if they still have the itch to be on our planet, I guess that's where they would be. Ma makes total sense. Because uh, who, who is going to see them? The, the, the animals? Can, can you even talk to the animals? Absolutely not. Who are the animals going to uh, say? Uh, tell this uh, phenomena to or situation to right don't uh, yeah like we don't have the animals police it's not like we have the animals police and it's not like the the animal police or the animals are gonna be able to communicate directly with us because we don't understand them and they 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 kind of understand us but we ne we necessarily don't speak the same language so yeah I guess uh it, it is really baffling to say the least boarded in the 1700s by German engineer Gerard will de Brahm. At the time, he attributed the lies to nitrous vapors, but then people slowly realized that that wasn't it. Even after hundreds of years, people had absolutely no idea what was causing these mysterious orbs to show up. Yeah. Matter of fact, I've got like six or eight of them all lined up across here, folks. Yeah. Things got so serious that in 1922, an FBI agent known as G.E. Moore was dispatched to investigate the lights, and despite his efforts, he wasn't able to conclude anything. Holy which added even more intrigue to the mystery. All now taking into consideration that hundreds of people have seen and sometimes even photographed these mysterious orbs, I would say that this is possibly the real deal. Dude, they're chasing that! Lily, they're chasing that! Look how many! Look how many they are! Oh my god, I'm, I'm scared. They're chasing the ball, bro! They're chasing this, bro, look! Oh the recruits! Oh my god, bro. But I want to know your thoughts. Do you think that this is possibly... Re okay, who chasing? You mean like we were chasing them? I, I mean, I'm hearing like a sound, like it sounded like helicopters, uh, right? But of course, uh, there were a couple of them, very hard to see. Uh, there was one that was easier to see, but... Related to extraterrestrial activity, or is it something else entirely? I'm baffled, bro. Like you said, I'm baffled, bro. So I am baffled. Now when it comes uh -oh. to strange things in the Appalachian region, there's more. And there's one in particular that caught Love a lot it. of attention throughout history, and that would be the Lake Champlain monster known as Champ. No, this is near! This would be like a like an hour or two hours drive from... Because uh, I'm in Montreal, so I just, uh, yeah, you know, knowing, my, knowing the map, yeah, this is nearby. Not that far. Holy crap. I feel like that I can one day, like go there on my electric scooter or something like that because I, I got a big electric scooter and it got a lot of uh it got 100 amps of uh, amp power battery those of you that are into you know what i'm talking about if you know you know so yeah i feel like that i can go there uh yeah, yeah, yeah. now the story of champ dates back to native american folklore with the abenaki and iroquois tribes describing a large serpentine creature inhabiting the lake the first recorded sighting of this mysterious creature happened in the 1600s by Samuel Champlain. Since then, there have been over 300 reported sightings of Champ, making it a very popular topic and attracting tourists and cryptozoologists alike. What is that? Is it? Now, even though there are countless stories and reports of the presence of a dinosaur-like creature that inhabits the deep waters of Lake Champlain, it is officially seen as a myth, just a bad time story. But yeah. maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't. What happens if you throw like a rock at it or you try to tickle it, you know? Or throw a cookie at it. On August 4th, 2022, Johnny Hoffman and his family had traveled over to Lake Champlain to stay around for a few days and enjoy their vacation home. 20 minutes after they arrived, they did what anyone would do. And they went over to the lake to Go see home? the beautiful scenery. Okay. And this is what happened. I thought he meant to say like what anybody would do is go home. Okay, no, they did not. They were. Yeah, what if you'd like? I see something in the water. Throw a Twinkie at it, you know. Oh, oh we got it, brother. Don't worry. Uh. We, got it. we got it, son. We caught it on camera. Uh. And there goes the kids. Yeah. 
Upon arriving at the lake, they're surprised by something in the distance. Hydrocats. What at first looks like some sort of huge creature can be seen swimming in the lake. Completely baffled, they get their cameras and immediately begin to record. After posting the video, several internet users seem to agree that this might actually be Champ, while others state that this is possibly a sturgeon. But if we Champ. zoom in and slow-mo the video, it becomes quite clear that whatever this thing is, it's massive. So it could just be that Johnny Hoffman caught one of the best video evidences of the existence of Champ. Champ. But it doesn't stop there. John Cena, Champ, you cannot see me? You can't see me? Yeah? Oh, what the hell? In this next video posted by Weird Theater YouTube channel, we can see what looks like a serpent-like... Yo, at one point it felt like a squirrel, just like, you know, with the, with, with like that, that shape, you know what I mean, right? Look, felt like a squirrel, looked like a squirrel. Creature emerging from the lake. Oh, that's a big one. That's a mighty big one. Whatever this thing is, this is definitely not a sturgeon. This is something else entirely. But what? Only one way to find While out. While some believe that this could be just a log or maybe an animal like a deer, others state that you can clearly see the length of the animal as it approaches the shore, and that most of it seems to be underwater. Mm. Yeah. In another video posted by Brian the Beast YouTube channel, we can see something similar once again in Lake Champlain. Check this out. Brian the Beast. Stop lying, Brian! You ain't the beast, bro! <laughs> Oh, the legend of Loch Ness Monster as well. Holy crap. In a more recent video, posted by DMoney13 on TikTok, we can see what looks like a very long creature swimming in Lake Champlain. Oh my god. At one point it also felt like a squid, right? What is that? There's something in the back too. After posting the video, several internet users left comments stating that this is possibly a sturgeon. But once again, it looks as if it's too big to be a fish. So, what is this? Could it actually be that there's some sort of dinosaur-like creature still swimming in the deep waters of Lake Champlain? Maybe. I want to know your thoughts. What do you really think is going on? And why are there so many myths and legends of lake monsters all over the world? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Being uh -oh. a vast area with large portions of dense, remote forests, the Appalachian Mountains provides the perfect cover for a serial killer or an ill-intentioned person to lurk in the shadows. Mm, yeah, the rugged sense. terrain, isolated trails, and limited Damn. cell phone reception can actually make it easy for such individuals to evade any type of detection. And I guess that this is sort of what happened to Katie Reminter while she was staying at a lodge with her family in Greenville, Maine. Green now, Greenville Wolf. is a very small town with a population of about 2,000 people, and it's only a 24 mile distance walk from the Appalachian Trail, which makes Greenville the perfect stop for hikers. I'm hiking, I swear somebody's following me, I could hear them like right behind me, but every time I'm oh, there. Explore. Huh? What? Unedited video of in the. What? What is that? Oh shit. Okay, what? I will I will kill again. Damn. Yo, that is crazy, right? Like if you see that what'd you do, right? What'd you do? You 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 stay there or you're like, honey, it's fine, I'm here. Uh what do you do? Do you peace out? I guess it's better to peace out, man. It's better to peace out. That was not there last night. No, that was there last night. It was a very cold night and Katie and her family were having dinner with a couple of friends at a nearby restaurant when all of a sudden Katie notices a man standing outside and staring and nodding at her. At the time she kind of shrugged it off and after having dinner they went back to the lodge. And while tucking the kids to bed yeah. she starts hearing someone pacing back. So that's good they they instead of hiding they they put the kids to bed okay that's better than uh, letting them out okay so step one complete but I think bro forgot to hide his wife though. Back and forth, just outside their rooking the kids to bed, she starts hearing someone pacing back and forth just outside their room. Mm. Completely freaked out, she checks the window 
and this is what she sees. POV, you're one of two guests staying in a lodge in a rural main, and you see, oh sh it looks like a man. This guy looks taller than the Undertaker. Yeah, man. Oh, bro, like I would be free the f out though, and especially it doesn't. In look the like video, a the face. figure of a creepy man can be seen approaching Katie's lodge. He then proceeds to stop and just stand there, staring at her window. You need a shotgun for this At this moment, one, Katie realizes that this is the same man from the restaurant. Same? Not knowing exactly how to proceed and what to do next, Katie stays there, quiet, observing the man's every movement. Holy crap, bro. Like, this guy, if he do choke slam to you, please excuse me while I never sleep again. Yeah, bro, this is... Oh, shit. Like, yeah. Just, uh... I'm getting the uh, It didn't take right long now. before Katie and her husband realized that they would have to call the cops. So they call the lodge owner, who actually calls the cops, and this is what happens. And what do they tell to the cops, right? There's a uh there's a guy just standing there. I've already made the call. It's moving his hands a little bit, right? Oh sh what the hell? Did it does it disappear? What? The lodge owner and the police. It just looks like a normal guy. It just looks like a. It's like one of the Scooby Doo things, right? Like towards the end, they like they picks the mask off. Yo, he was looking so horrifying like two seconds ago. Check this. Holy crap! You know what I mean? But when you shine the light on it and you go near it, it's uh, one of us, bro. Yeah, he tried to blend in. Yeah, like, now it's not that freaky anymore. But, okay, they made on camera it The lodge freaky. owner and the police promptly show up and talk to the man, who states that he's actually staying in the lodge next door. After coming to the conclusion that he wasn't doing anything wrong, they leave, and the yeah. man just continues there, staring at Katie's lodge. Okay. At this point, you can imagine how freaked out Katie and her family... So, did he do that again? The same thing again? He were. But not knowing exactly what to do next, they stay there for the night. The next day they call the police and find out that the man actually told them that he was a schizophrenic. Now mm. even if this is the case, I wonder what would have happened to Katie and her family if they hadn't called the cops. Yeah. Not only that, when the police arrives, he changes his behavior completely, as if Damn. he knows exactly what he's doing. Damn. So I'm not exactly sure if he was telling the truth entirely. I think he wanted to like freak out the family uh and it's like one of those things right like if you get caught like you're not gonna say like why you were there right like so he was like no nah, man just like uh you know like late night walk that's it but guys the night is still young man click on this video on the screen i'm sure you're gonna like this one this is the last episode that we've done on the left we got another one in case you've seen this one check out the video on the left